Hello, I'm Mimi, and today I want to have a gentle conversation about the hot topic that lots of artists are worried about right now, which is, of course, AI generated art. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to address it or not because I know that it's a stressful topic for a lot of people, and I'm certainly not an expert on it. I'm just an illustrator with a beautiful community of artists watching my videos. So when I asked in a community post whether you guys were worried about AI art or not, about two thirds of you said that you were either super worried or quite worried about it. So I thought it would be nice to sit and have a casual chat about it while I do some drawing in a relaxing environment. This isn't going to be a video where I tell you what you should think or feel about AI generated art because none of us need another person on the internet telling us what to be mad about. I'm just going to explore the topic with some of the comments you guys made about how you feel and give some of my own thoughts as well. And we'll look at some potential pros and cons of this technology because there are two sides to every coin. So if you somehow haven't heard of AI generated art yet, it's kind of blown up online lately and I won't go into detail explaining how it works because I'm not the best person to do that. But the outcome is basically a tool that generates images from text prompts that emulate human art in seconds. Not all of the results are amazing, but some of them really are impressive and convincing. And this technology is only young, so it's really likely that given a bit more time, they'll become really good at what they do. Now the AI can generate these images because it's been trained with a whole lot of human made images to be able to understand the patterns of what makes a picture of a dog look like a dog and what makes a picture of a goat look like a goat, etc. The contentious part is that the images it's been trained on to be able to recognize patterns in things like form, color, and brushstrokes are largely copyrighted and often belong to people who weren't able to give consent. So the main points of conversation around AI generated art right now seem to be split into two main topics. One of these is the ethics of AI engines being trained on copyrighted artwork without the consent of artists. And the other is the conversation around what impact AI generated art will have on professional artists and their ability to make an income from their art. So let's take a look at both of those as separate topics. Firstly, the issue of how the AI tools creating digital art have been trained to be able to do what they do. I don't think that there's much doubt among the art community that using work from another artist without consent is not okay, or in other words, unethical, whether it's a human doing the copying or an AI tool using the image in its learning dataset. It definitely seems that a lot of the concern around AI art from the art community in general right now, and also the small pool of opinions on my community post, was about it using copyrighted artwork in its training dataset without the permission of the artists. And some of you were not even necessarily against the concept of AI art itself, but mostly about how it's been trained in an unethical way. Artists put a lot of work, energy, time, and love into learning their skills, and many already feel undervalued for those skills. So the frustrating part is that now there's a tool that is being trained on their images without their consent, and that tool is kind of designed to replicate and to some degree replace their skill set that they've spent their life working on. It's meant to be able to create work of the same quality and sometimes the same style in seconds rather than hours or days without any compensation or appreciation for the artists whose skills it's dependent on. You've probably heard that a group of artists have recently launched a lawsuit against some AI art generators for infringing on their rights and the rights of lots of other artists by training their AI tools on copyrighted images without artist consent. I mean, firstly, it takes so much courage to be the face of such a public lawsuit, and I can't imagine having the strength to do what these artists are doing. But I think it's fantastic that they're standing up for the rights of artists and trying to make AI more ethical for everyone. I do think that if you're going to train an AI tool to be able to generate images that look like a human artist has made it, which don't get me wrong, is a pretty incredible thing to achieve, then it shouldn't ever look like any one specific working artist has made it. 
There are plenty of examples of the current AI tools at times being trained to replicate a particular artist style by using their name as a text prompt, which is one of the things that frustrates me the most about this very complex issue. I thought this article did a great job at speaking to both an artist about having their art used to train an AI tool to replicate their style, and also the Reddit user who fine-tuned the AI art generator Stable Diffusion to recreate that art style. The Reddit user didn't seem to understand why an artist would feel like it's disappointing and invasive to have a machine fed your art and be trained to reproduce it with different subjects. And I think that that attitude is kind of part of the problem for artists and will continue to be a problem for artists as we navigate this new space. I know that a lot of us artists have already felt misunderstood, underappreciated or disregarded in our lives as creatives, so it's not very surprising to see that attitude playing out and being exacerbated with this new technology that has put artists and specifically our value in the spotlight. I'm obviously not a lawyer, but it doesn't seem like the law as it is right now is built to handle a situation like this because as far as I can tell, there isn't a great deal of clarity around whether AI art is derivative or transformative of original works and what the rules are about using copyrighted work to train software without consent. It would be great to see some clarity and regulation introduced to help protect creatives in any industry that has the potential to be exploited by generative AI. Ultimately, to me, it doesn't even really matter what the legal implications are of using an artist's work to directly teach an AI tool how to recreate it. It's unethical to not have consent from the people whose skills you're dependent on when you're trying to build something to replicate them. And especially unethical to train an AI tool to specifically recreate the individual style of a working, living artist. Obviously, ethics aren't enough to stop people being exploited though, because unfortunately, that's just not how our world works, which is why it feels necessary to have some legal regulation around it as well. So separate to the ethics of AI art tools and how they're trained, there's also the other discussion at the moment about what impact these tools will have on current working artists and emerging artists. Let's say that hypothetically, AI art was regulated, trained ethically, and didn't copy art styles of individual artists. Then how would we feel about it? Some of your comments on my community posts were really concerned that it would replace artists, and some of you didn't think that it would matter too much because people want to feel a human connection through art. I think they're both valid points, and I guess it's likely to land somewhere in the middle. Some people will use AI-generated art instead of commissioning an artist to make something custom for them. And some of those people would never have paid an artist to make them something anyway, but some of them probably would have before AI art was accessible. So I do think that it's likely to replace a portion of the work done by artists now. It's impossible to know for sure what impact this will have on the value of art going forward. And while I do think it will reduce the amount of work for artists in probably a few ways, call me naive, but I also honestly believe that there will always be a market for art made by humans for humans. We value handmade products in lots of industries that have mass production, and we value them because we have a connection through that handmade product to another human being. Connection is valuable and I don't think that will change, and perhaps the art community will become stronger as a unit because of this. I could go and buy earrings for a few dollars from the shop, but I'd much rather support another creative who's made a pair by hand, even if they looked identical. It's not just the outcome that's important, it's knowing that I'm supporting a creative person's career and have a connection to that artist. But I acknowledge that it could be difficult to know with digital art in the future whether it's authentically made by a human or not. I agree that AI art is quite intimidating and scary as an artist, but I also think that within the right circumstances that AI art as a technology is really interesting, super impressive, and I'm interested to see if there can be some applications that are positive and helpful to the world. BGNC commented that they were equally concerned and excited, and I think I'd say that I'm in a similar position. 
I do still think that it's going to be possible to have a successful career as an artist moving forward. Perhaps it will be more challenging or perhaps we'll have to pivot some of our skill sets to maximize our chances of working as artists in a world of AI generated art. We might need to focus more on the human side of our art as creatives by sharing our journeys as part of our business strategy or showing our faces or voices more to build a connection. Maybe now is a good time for us to think about how we can incorporate more of our stories as humans and more human connection into our professional art practice and start developing those ideas to give us more comfort in a future that will have AI generated art in it because it looks like it'll be here to stay whether we want it to or not. It might even increase the value of traditional art, where unlike digital art, you can hold a tangible painting or illustration that's been physically created by another person, and that might be valued more than ever. Perhaps in the future, we'll have to have labels on art to show that it was created by humans, just like there are labels for things that are handmade at the moment. We might see picture books with stickers on the cover that say illustrated by human to make sure that people know that it isn't AI generated. I don't deny that this will likely have a big impact on the art world, even outside of copyright ethics, but I don't think it necessarily needs to be something that stops you from chasing your art dreams. I can appreciate that if you're starting out or even if you're already established as an artist that seeing AI generated art might make you feel really disheartened or think what's the point and by all means feel those feelings because they're totally valid and I feel them too but please don't let it be the thing that holds you back. Continue making art because you love it and we'll figure the rest out together as a community. So with all that being said, what are some potential pros and cons of this technology once it becomes more established? I'm not here to villainize AI generated art or to dismiss the impact that it'll probably have on the art community. So let's look at both sides. To start with the positives, it has the potential to be used as a tool for artists. We could use it to accelerate our own learning. There's a lot to learn when you start out as an artist and if you're learning how to draw, then having something that can generate compositions and color palettes and scenes that you can reference would be really useful and make the creative journey a little less overwhelming for a lot of people. We could use it for custom references. If you want to draw a human or animal in a specific pose, then rather than scouring the internet trying to find a photo reference from the right angle, you could get an AI tool to generate just the right pose to use as a guide for your illustrations. We could use it for inspiration. Just like we use Pinterest boards for inspiration now, we could use AI tools to generate us some images that are specifically related to what we want to create. If you want to draw a fantasy landscape but want to see a few references first to spin up your own creative ideas, then you could get an AI tool to show you some fantasy scenes in different color palettes and at different times of day or within different environments to spark your inspiration. It might even reduce the amount of direct copying of our own art. One potential outcome of AI generated art is that it might stop people directly stealing art from other artists to use on their products or cheap knockoffs without permission. That is of course in a totally hypothetical world where the AI tools are no longer using copyrighted art in their training data sets like we talked about before. But if you can make your own custom graphics with an AI tool, then perhaps copycats would go there instead of taking our art directly from our portfolios. On the other hand, there are obviously some likely negative outcomes from this technology. Like we said, it could take paid work away from artists. With the ability to create custom art pretty much instantly, it's likely that AI generated art will take some clients away from current artists. If you give people the ability to do things themselves very quickly and very cheaply, it's unfortunately going to take some work away from the skilled people who used to do that work. It could be unethical. Like we already said, if there isn't enough regulation around how AI tools are trained, then they could continue to use copyrighted artwork from other artists, and it could become easy to commercially reproduce artist styles without them being compensated and without their permission or even knowledge. And it could devalue the skills of being an artist. 
The internet is already saturated with digital art and I don't think that in itself devalues what you create, but AI generated art has the potential to devalue commissioned custom art if everyone can very quickly generate their own digital art based on an idea they had. And finally, some things that AI art cannot do. It cannot take away your creativity. It cannot take away what you get out of your creative process. It cannot replace your self-expression. It cannot replace what makes your art special to you. And it cannot take away our art community. So it's a really complex issue. And overall, my point of view is that it's a technology that is really interesting and impressive, but it needs regulation to protect working artists. I don't think that it's okay to use copyrighted images without consent to create a tool that's designed to recreate aspects of those images, even if it's only using patterns and not those exact pixels. And it's one thing to use generative AI to make art that doesn't reference any particular style, but it's quite another to train it on a specific working artist style without their permission so that you can recreate it without them. I do think that there will always be room for human art and that there will always be a lot of humans who support other artists. And the people who don't were probably never really going to anyway, it's just now that they'll have an avenue to receive the benefits without valuing where it came from. I personally love supporting other creatives and that's never going to change. Even with things that I can get faster and cheaper, given the choice and when I have the financial means, I will support creatives where I can and there are lots of other people out there who are the same. I do think it's very likely to replace some human made art and that will take some work away from artists which is a real shame and it will be really difficult for some of us, but I don't think it will ever eradicate artists as a viable career path. It might make it harder and we might have to pivot some of our skill sets to maximize our chances of working as artists in a world of AI generated art. But I think there will always be so much value in human art, in human stories, and still a demand for that. There will always be people who exploit other people. I don't deny that, but there are also a lot of good people out there who want to support other humans. I'm one of them and I support you and I'm sure you'll find a lot of other good humans out there too. AI will never take the creativity out of humans even if it is really good at replicating it. It doesn't have life experience, it doesn't know what makes people relatable to each other and it doesn't have your individuality. It definitely can't take away from you what you love about making your own art and sharing it with a community of other humans. It can make art, but it's not an artist, and it can't be part of our community, and the community, for me at least, is what makes art special. Feel free to let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment below. I know there will be a lot of opinions about this topic, so just be respectful to one another and support each other where we can because we have such a nice community here. Now I've read quite a few articles for this video and I'll leave the references to them in the description below in case you'd like to read them for yourself. I've tried to keep them as neutral as possible because I don't like clickbait, it makes me mad and there's a lot of emotional hyperbole about AI art at the moment that can be quite stressful that I tried to avoid. So thank you so much for watching this video. It was a bit of a different one, but a topic that I wanted to touch on for our community, even though it's so complex emerging and I couldn't possibly cover everything. If you enjoyed it, then consider liking the video or subscribing if you haven't already, because it really helps my channel grow and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.